Well, my friends, I'm Johan Proust. I'm your host from coast to coast, and it's a pleasure to be here. And what you see right here in White Rock on Victoria is the beautiful Miss Daisy herself, uh, the person that took the initiative of doing these beautiful things for herself and her friends and neighbors. And next to her is the driver of the Miss Daisy's car, that's Louise. Louise, are you there? Yes, I am. And that's wonderful. Uh, and, of course, Miss Daisy, tell us a little about, you had beautiful things to say about <laughs> the present, the future, and the past. Well, my past has been really beautiful. I've learned a lot. I've loved a lot. I've just been myself, and it's been really great. Now, for my future, I kind of have plans what I want to do. I want to be at home for a while and just get again to know Daisy, then, then I will be picking up some kind of a social events for the people I've worked with all these years. This is gorgeous. You have such a fine career. You came here the first time to White Rock? In nine, oh, I've lived here 50 years. 50 years? Yes. That's a long time. You have seen many no, faces? It's not a long time. <laughs> it's not a long time? No. <laughs> You, uh, am I to understand, are we going to understand here that you are, um, you are basically moving here, you are, you are not evicted, but you are, you have to move because the building is moving. That's correct. And, 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 and uh, how about all this, the 15th or what, what was the date? The 15th of June. 2010. Yes. You, you, that's when you said, I'm out of here. That's right. You correct. didn't say that, what did you yes. really tell me? Tell us. Big pardon? What did you really tell me? You said, I'm getting... The hell out of here. It's a beautiful, uh, spicy yeah. comment made yeah. of you. And then uh, now, uh, what will... Uh, you will still be doing this? No, I'm not going back into the, uh, the business. I'm going into socializing with the mentally challenged people. I see, and yeah. physically challenged. Yeah, that's wonderful. Louise yeah. here is helping you to drive this car while you have been active. No. How many years have you done this now? Uh, this is my 30, 30, uh, 37th year. 37 years. Yes. And, and to tell the listeners here that never met with you before, what did you actually, what did you do? What was it? Did what? I do? Yeah. I guess I was just a general housewife, did lots of jobs during my lifetime. And... Uh, that beautiful Miss Daisy driving around, doing things. How is that appreciated? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. I, we go to the bank together. We uh, laugh a lot. <laughs> we uh, you laugh. Go grocery shopping, and uh, uh, Louise will take me anywhere I want to go, and I know I'm safe with her. Oh, that's wonderful, uh, Louise. And she definitely. Always opens the door for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yes. And you seem to be laughing. And when we laugh, we create endorphins, right? Yes. So it makes us happy. Yes. And it's healthy for you to laugh. It and is that. Is there anything you would like to say about White Rock? Because it is a nice little place. Some say it's a ghost town. I don't know. Some say it's a resort. And, and, and th there are many changes. Anything in particular? How well, do you like uh, it? This is not a ghost town because if you're here on a sunny day, you can't get down this hill because it's car to car to car to car all the way up to two th blocks. <laughs> ah, that's so wonderful. There's nothing ghosty about that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We have almost 2,000 hours of sun hours here, I call it. Yes. It's very sunny. It's a beautiful place, White Rock. Yes, it is. And we have a pier, and now we have two new traffic lights. How do you like those? Uh, I don't drive, so they don't bother me one bit. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> you like them. Well, that's yeah, good. There you go. You know that? <laughs> well, uh, anything you would like to tell, um, and it's a pleasure to, uh, an honor to be able to speak to you, Miss Daisy. Uh, Thank you. T tell, tell me kindly, what would you like to say to the people that may be looking at this on uh, YouTube. I want to say that I appreciate every single person that has walked through the door and has been friendly and donated clothes and anything to help me keep the store open. And also would like to say that uh, 
I, my heart is aching and I am stabbed that this has happened to me. Well, you did have an accident and uh, you came through and you recovered and um, of course changes are always painful many yeah. times. Yeah. And and um, but I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the 13 people that need my help that will maybe not be I may not be able to help them once this building is torn down. Miss Daisy, I'm so sure that I feel in my heart, as a reporter as I am, that you will be rewarded and we will, I used to say, we'll see each other again. Well, certainly that's and, true. And I definitely wish you, and God bless your little heart. He does. And, and the same to, 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 to Louise here. It was a pleasure having met with you, and I'm quite sure that the audience will as well. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you come and do this. Thank you. Okay. Now we are saying goodbye to Driving Miss Daisy. Okay. And that okay. is fabulous. And I say thank you again. Good Wait night. A Can goodbye. You get over